Hello everyone, welcome to IEEE Expert. Today we are going to see project about uh, blood grouping prediction using fingerprint reading. Okay, uh, listen to this project. This is completely innovative project based on IEEE 2021. Okay, 2022. Uh, directly we can go for this project. So we have to predict the blood group. Okay, this is the main aim of the project. But current technologies using invasive method. What is called as an invasive method means if you want to detect your blood group means you if you want to predict your blood group means you have to use sample of your blood that means you need physical blood sample for predicting your blood group detecting your blood group okay we have to apply some medical treatment medical treatment you have to add some uh, uh, chemicals with that based on that reaction they will predict what blood group which type of blood group you are having but this project completely based on non-invasive method as I already mentioned earlier, invasive method, current technologies, invasive method means they need complete your blood sample to detect your blood group. We are going to do which non-invasive blood group prediction method. What is called as non-invasive blood group prediction means you no need any physical blood group to detect your blood group. You no need any physical blood sample. You no need any physical blood sample for detecting blood group. Without any sample, how are you predicting your blood group? Okay, this is overall question anyone can ask. Okay, but here we are going to use image processing technology to detect your blood group. So, without any blood sample, we are going to detect your blood group. Okay, this is the main innovation of this project. Here in this base paper, they have used a fingerprint reading. If you are passing fingerprint means, if you are placing your finger on fingerprint reader means, what that fingerprint reader will do means, it will pass some IR spectrum to your finger. That IR spectrum which you are passing now, that IR spectrum will reflect. Based on the reflection spectrum, that IR spectrum will reflect now. Based on that IR reflection, what they will do means, they will calculate the fingerprint position. Okay, so you know. If you are passing some spectrum here means it will refract to another another side of your finger based on that uh, we can get some map that is called a spectrum map okay spectrum map your blood sample now nah, your blood samples will absorb some IR spectrum okay various blood group absorption ratio may differ okay depends upon that absorption ratio that reflected spectrum also may vary based on that reflection spectrum only we are going to calculate the blood group okay you are getting my point you are going to pass some waveform waves light waves on the finger side okay it will refract into another side that each blood different blood samples different blood group will refract different waveforms based on that different waveforms we are going to analyze the blood group this is the overall concept okay so i will present the ppt of the project here for your better understanding so this is the ppt for this project as i mentioned earlier i am going to use blood group measurement using image processing okay non-invasive image sample here i am going to use data collection i am going to use different data set for different blood group then i am going to extract the positive signal extraction method then i am going to use feature calculation feature calculation means i have to use that image processing features in refraction waveform based on that only i'm going to use blood group estimation okay this is the abstract of the project existing in existing as i already mentioned everyone using invasive you need physical blood sample for detecting your blood group okay you need blood sample this is called invasive method i'm going to use non-invasive method the main drawback of the invasive method was very complex lack of affordability you have to carry some machineries with you it's not portable lack of user friendliness any uh, no one can do okay uh, anyone cannot be tested blood sample okay the person who is having knowledge on the blood sample collection they only have to do okay challenging data collection they have to come to your place or you have to go to that place for giving blood sample or collecting blood sample it will take some time checking process okay this is the main drawback of the existing one but I mentioned we are going to use non-invasive without any blood sample collection. We need spectroscopic information. What is spectroscopic information means? That your fingerprint extraction image only we need. I am going to show some data set. In the data set also, I will show the images. For example, I am going by the A positive means. This is the A positive sample. Spectroscopic sample, A positive spectro. 
you can see the different wave forms here. If you go for the O positive means this is the O positive sample which you are going to use. O positive image sample. See? Same. If you go for the A B positive, rather A B positive means this is the A B positive spectroscopic sample. So here you are not giving any wave for any blood sample here. Okay, this is proposition. Uh, without wasting time, just I am explaining proposition black diamond. Subject giving spectroscopic sample, we are going to analyze the waveform based on that. In that waveform, we are going to extract the peak point. Based on that peak point, we have to make the database. In database, we have to achieve machine learning. Okay, whether you are giving sample now, your image, in image, that image uh, matched with which type of blood group. Based on that, we will give the output. Okay, simply I have explained. Some models also available for this. Okay, we are going to use Python language for this as well as we are going to use Anaconda ID for running this project. Directly, I am going to run this project here. So, before that, if you need any machine learning project means, please contact iwexpert.com. We will give best project for you. We are here, we are having major type of projects at better cost. Okay, go for our website. So, I am going to run the project for you. So, for that, I am opening blood grouping direction project. So here I created app1.py coding, then training coding, then testing coding. Everything has been created. Just I am running the project here. Python space app1.py. It will create some web app for me. Just I am waiting for web app to compile. So web app has been created. Just I am pasting this link here. This is my project home page. Here I mentioned abstract also for your uh, analysis. Then login page I have given. Just I have to use admin admin as my user ID and then password. Once login success means. What I have to do means. I have to give my sample which I have collected. Sample means here I am talking about image, not your physical sample here. Okay. Just wait for the page to compile. Here the database contains too many images, that's why it's taking some time to compile. Once it's loaded, means you can check any image, you can check with any image. Okay. Now I am going to give blood sample here just I am using some samples here just a minute hold on Just I am giving some really random images here. Just I am giving random images. This is the image spectroscopy image I am going to give. Just I am giving detect group. See the terminal. So the predicted result, the image spectrum you are uploading contains A, B positive blood group. Just I am choosing another image here. Uh, this one. This one I am choosing. So this is the spectrum I am going to upload. Then I am giving direct blood group. So I am waiting for the results. So it having A B negative detected blood group. Giving any another image spectrum. So I'm giving result just a minute. So it contains A positive blood group. Choosing another image here, this one. So you should upload upload spectrum images. Waiting for the results to come in. So resulted was B negative. So like this, you can upload any spectrum image and detect blood group by non-using method. Then I'm going for the chart. In chart, I can change, I can check 
the data set contains positive to b pos b positive 70 to b negative o positive 102 a positive 80 a negative 80 a b positive 80 then a b negative 74 okay this is the bread group i've tested the accuracy of the project was 93 percentage accuracy okay the overall accuracy of the project was 93 which is best to one using conversion neural net okay so you can follow IEEE expert for more projects thank you